The SINGO-VM MM Reading Workflow allows quick and efficient evaluation of routine cases. It is also used to compare images and series from virtually any modality and time point. MM Reading basically consists of three workflow steps. Overview displays available data sets. Three D viewing provides the functions necessary for evaluations and results displays findings and snapshots as well as newly created ranges. The series navigator shows all data sets that are available in Singovia for a specific patient. Additional data of a selected patient can be assessed through the archive. Click Add Study to import further data sets. In the 3D viewing workflow step, the layout automatically adjusts the number of segments when you drag and drop additional series from the series navigator into the viewer. To transfer the data, right click the data set you want to add and drag and drop it into the viewing area. Up to four data sets can be loaded side by side and are synchronized automatically. While scrolling through the slices, use the measurement tools, for example, to mark suspicious structures, so you can easily find them again later by clicking on the finding in the findings navigator. Click on the finding to show the suspicious lesion in all segments. Besides displaying different data sets side by side, you can also fuse images from different modalities, for example a CT data set with a PET data set. In this example, the image area already contains CT data. To fuse this data set with a corresponding PET study, go to the series navigator and select the series. Right click and drag the series into the segment that already contains a series. Choose Fuse MPR MPR from the context menu. If no data is yet displayed in the image area, go to the series navigator and select a CT series and the corresponding PET series from the same time point. Right click and drag the two series into a segment. Select Add as Fused MPR MPR from the context menu. In both cases the layout changes to a fused display. The alignment is done automatically or can be started manually by selecting Automatic Registration. If necessary, correct the position of the two data sets by selecting Visual Alignment. After activating Visual Alignment, a mini toolbar is displayed with various correction functions. Use the rotation wheel and the pivot and pan tools for correcting the data sets and save the position of the fused data sets. With the F9 key of your keyboard, you can easily toggle between the CT data set and the PET data set and the fuse display. Region Growing and Anatomy Visualizer are two features that can be used to segment and highlight lesions, for example for a referring physician or a surgeon. To start, open a 3D layout and select Region Growing. The Anatomy Visualizer dialog box shows a list of available anatomical structures. To start a new object, select Create New Segmentation Object. In general, there are two ways to segment anatomical structures, via growing or via interpolation of different layers. For this case, we choose growing. Now define the structure to be segmented. For a tumour, select General or Organ. It is recommended to magnify the image before starting. 
Now segment the lesion. If necessary, correct with the slider. When finished, enter a proper name in the table of the anatomy visualizer. If you want to show the lesion in the anatomical environment, for example to a surgeon, a different VRT display may be more suitable. Another way to display the lesion only is to cut it out of the entire volume. The volume can be measured and documented as a finding. The volume and the Hounsfield units are measured. The findings are listed in the Findings Navigator as well as in the Results section of the Series Navigator and can be exported or printed. If the prior data sets are available, you can perform the same volume evaluation on the priors and generate further findings. All marked findings can be sent to a PAX and will be included in the Singavia report. The report can be exported or printed.